Welcome to today's 3D print. Everybody knows about the Creality Cat, the Decapa Cat, or the Lucky Cat. I made a giant version of him. He's over 400, um, like 45 centimeters tall or something like that. He's big. And you can take the top off. So somebody wants to know how I did that. So I'm going to make a little video on how I did that. Okay. Let's get everything lined up here. Actually, I can turn this down quite a bit. Bring the window down so that you don't have as much of a perspective change. There we go. More head on with the screen. That should be pretty straight on. So why are we tilted? That's a little better. So here we have the CR10 print volume and the itty bitty little cat. So first things first, center and arrange. Go to edit and go to scale to maximum size. Now that right there is as big as we could print him if we want to print him as one big solid piece. But since we're going to be chopping his head off, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to make him that big or limit him to being this big so our limitation is going to be the x and y axis and it looks here like I have more limitations on x than I do y so he's wider than he is deep and that is confirmed he is 253 wide 231 um, deep so width is going to be my limitation so let's max him out at with safety 295 millimeters which brings us to 653 percent scale okay center and arrange now this is a lot easier if his Z offset is zero we'll get to that in a minute but if your model that you're working on make sure you run it through NetFab first if, if in doubt I know this model is clean so I don't have to worry about it um, make sure to um, oh I didn't know I was off the bottom edge of the screen there so make sure um, it's all one solid piece. If this Z offset is not zero, for whatever reason, you can make it zero just by going, selecting your model, going File, Export Models, Export Binary STL, and when the screen pops up for you to save him, just save him as something else. And then delete the model and reload your saved binary, and he will sit on the bed at a Z offset of zero. There's a reason that's important. Now first we have to decide where do we want to cut him. Well, I want to cut him right where he decapitates himself on the corrupt G-code file. So that would be right here at the top of his neck. That's also the most convenient place to cut him. Because he'll go together nicely. You know, it looks like he's supposed to split there. So, very simple. Let me make sure I'm set up. Layers 111, just to keep it simple. Prepare to print. Slice the cat. Get it? Slice the cat. <laughs> I know, lame jokes. I'm not that good at jokes. But it makes me giggle. There we go. Come on. Slice the damn cat. There we go cat is sliced. Now, zoom in to get to around his neck. Uh, you feeling the pressure cat? And we're going to make sure our control options preview by is layer. That's over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag down the max until we can see his head exposed. And once you get close, go down click by click. Click, 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 click. I think I got it. Ah, one more I think. There it is. That's exactly where we want to cut that cat. Okay. You can see when I go up one, that's where we're beginning the cat's neck. So that right there is the actual top layer of the collar. That's layer 1151. So we exit back out. Confirm that we are set for 0.2 millimeters. 
yes we are so we then bring up the calculator 1151 times 0.2 that is at 230.2 millimeters so we come in here to advanced and we select stop printing at 230.2 millimeters what we're doing is we're telling Simplify 3D print this but stop when you get to 230 millimeters and close the file so prepare to print again there it is now our cat is decapitated and as you can see it closes off the top of the file here no problem and we now can see the inside of the cat now remember this was already hollowed out so if you want to um, do this with a solid model you'll just have to pick a certain number of perimeters they made it easy because this is already hollow okay so now what I do is I save toolpath to disk and I call it Creality Cat Body and that'll be my g-code for the bottom now in case I want to edit this again later I'm also going to save the factory file so file save factory file same thing Creality Cat body I usually include the printer name in the files as well so this one will be called Creality Cat CR10 body so I know that this code was optimized for the CR10 and not for the A9E10 or the one how duplicator or the ender All right, now we go exit back out now remember when I told you to um, the reason you want him to be um, is the offset of zero well we're going to take that number again right there and now it's really easy we just make the Z offset negative 230.2 negative 230.2 bingo now the cat's head is in the bed Okay. Go back into the process, advance, turn off the stop printing at, although it won't affect this. And now we have the head sunk into the bed. Now the way this slicer works is anything below the bed doesn't count. It won't get printed. So now we just do prepare to print again. And there you go. Now we have just the cat's head. And the body is gone. And you see it creates bottom layers because now it knows that that needs to be closed off. And there to the internal hollow head. Now you go save toolpath to disk, Creality Cat Head. File, save factory file as Creality Cat Head. So now you can always go back to either body or head to make tweaks and adjustments as necessary. If you decide to make adjustments, make sure you pay attention to this here. Scale, 653.23. Now, because I scaled it evenly, all three of these are the same. So if you scale, well, if you scale it, you'll be fine. But you're going to have two separate factory files now with this position for body and head. So make sure you scale them both the same. Or use one file and resave both of them to make sure your scaling is correct. But that's it. That's all you have to do if you want to make your own. Creality Cat cookie jar and you want to do it yourself. Um, now to finish mine off I had a very simple in theory I guess I could have tried to use mesh mixer to cut his head off and add a, a lip inside or something like that and I was like screw it. <laughs> I just took three pieces of plastic as you can see here one here one here let me bring this over why would you do that? As you can see, I just put three tabs in here. I super glued three from a failed print. Three tabs of plastic. I just super glued them in there so that the head would stay in place when you put it on. Very simple. That's all. If you guys have anything else you'd like me to try to explain, let me know. If you want to support me, my Patreon page is linked below. I appreciate any help I can get. 
Um, use the Amazon affiliate links. If you decide you want one of these printers, use the GearBest links. I appreciate it. The GearBest links, I don't even care about the money they send me. I, I don't really know how much it is. I don't care. But um, if I sell printers through the GearBest links, they'll keep sending me more printers. And that makes me a very happy critter and gives me fun, cool things to put on video for you guys. So, because I certainly can't afford to buy all these printers. <laughs> but um, if there's specific content you want to see, let me know. If there's instructions you want me to make a video about, if I can figure out how to do it, I will make a video for you guys. I don't mind. This is fun for me. My, my life is a literal living hell, and this is my sanity. <laughs> Making these videos and this 3D printing stuff helps keep me sane. So any questions you got, I will do my best to answer them and provide whatever help I can provide. I keep my victims happy, because happy victims keep coming back. You guys have a great day. Just in addition to, um, GearBest sent me some new links for their printers. They lowered the price of the ANA E10 to 260, I think 259, I'll have a link below. And um, I like the E10, it needs a lot of work. It doesn't need a lot of work, it needs a lot of finicky little fixes. But if you make all those fixes, it's a wonderful printer. Not as good as the CR-10, but a wonderful printer. <laughs> Nothing beats the CR-10, except the G-Max. G-Max is the only way you're beating the CR-10, and that's for rich people. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, they also have the ANET A8 for $139. Now, I do not have an ANET A8, so I cannot attest to it, but people I do trust enjoy it. Punish Props has an ANET A8, and he likes it. Um, but it's not going to give you anything near the kind of quality you're going to get from an Ender, an ANET E10, or a CR10. It's a kit, you got to build it, it takes six to eight hours, which is why I'm never going to have one. I simply don't have the kind of time that it would take to build that kit, and um, I, don't, I don't have the time to invest. I work 90 hours a week. But um, plus, I want, I'm to the point where I want higher quality, less tinkering. And the ANET A8 is a tinkerer's printer. Now. If you are less worried about quality and you love tinkering, you want to print parts, you want to hack it, you want to mod it, you want to do all kinds of stuff to it, kits like the ANET A8 are amazing for that because they are so crude out of the box that they need all kinds of mods and hacks. But for some people, that's enjoyable. That is one of the things I liked about my one hell duplicator was that I can print out all kinds of interesting hacks and upgrades for it and actually watch the printer improve as I made those upgrades, which is kind of fun. Um, so if you like that, if you're into that, it's 140 bucks. Go grab one. But I'd rather spend 163 and get an Ender 2. <laughs> so I'll have links to that too. And um, I do get paid by GearBest. I don't know what I get paid. I haven't checked yet. Um, but they, I think I do get money from them for selling printers through the links. Um, they have me make affiliate links or something like that. Um, um, I don't care too much about that. Uh, I, I probably will make more money off Amazon. But the advantage of the GearBest links, if you decide you want one of these printers, hell, if you decide you want another printer on GearBest, tell me what it is and I'll make you an affiliate link for it. Because if I sell stuff on GearBest, they send me more printers. More printers means more goodies for me to play with more stuff I can crank out, more videos I can make, more content for you to watch, all stuff I couldn't normally do because I could never afford to buy that many printers. And this thing is freaking me out. It's got like face tracking and eye detection. And I'm watching these crosshairs go dit, 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 on my left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye. <laughs> it's like a Decepticon saying, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm weird. So, um, that's how that stuff works. Um, once again, the Amazon affiliate links, you don't have to buy what I link to, although I'm linking to stuff that I think would be good. Um, I use stuff that I use. But the Amazon stuff, um, even if you don't buy what is linked to, if you buy anything else on Amazon, I get credit. So if you wish to support my channel and help me out, and you know you're going to buy something on Amazon, come to one of my videos or go to todays3dprint.com and click on a link to Amazon and then buy whatever you want. You don't have to buy what I link to. If you click on the link to Zyro Fluorescent Orange Filament and then you go and buy Hatchbox Woodville, I get credit. If you go buy an Amazon Echo, I get credit. If you go buy toilet paper, I get credit. As long as you click on my affiliate link first. 
that will keep your purchases good for 24 hours or until you click on someone else's affiliate link. So anything you buy, I get credit for. And that helped me out. You guys have a great day.